Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's uh, 6 5 2021. So it's Saturday night. I'm sitting here having a couple of drinks, trying to relax. Um, not a whole lot going on, but but the perps did. Uh, they hit the panic button uh, right out front, and uh, they enjoy doing that. Something a 12 year old boy would probably do. Uh, they get off on it, uh, they're immature and all this stuff. Um, like I said before, why don't they do this to somebody that'll come on and kick their ass? They won't do it, you know. They won't do it. Uh, they got to do it to nonviolent people, innocent victims of this crime. And um, I tell you, if these people ever end up in jail, uh, they're going to be in a lot of trouble because they're going to have to defend themselves. You know, they, 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 they feel like they have power over us, innocent people, nonviolent people. They have, they have this power over us, they think. You know, and they try to create walls try to keep us in a in a box you know it's all psychological you guys it's all psychological you know psychological warfare you know they want to you know so i can hit my panic button so that oh i have power now because i can hit my panic button and get a reaction out of you you know but they won't do this someone will come on and kick their ass go do this to a big bad biker someone will come on and kick your ass you won't do it you know so they won't do it they won't do that you know so they got to do this to innocent, nonviolent victims of this crime. Um, like I say, if these people end up in prison um, someday, they're going to be old and vulnerable, and they're going to have their ass taken to them, you know, and it's going to happen, you know. So, um, not much going on. Um, I kind of slept late. Uh, I wasn't even really sleeping. I was just laying there with my eyes closed. Uh, they wouldn't let me get to sleep and stuff. Um, I woke up and I we uh, my relative got off work and we went to look at a, a property uh, maybe ten miles away and we did that and came home and um, I'll tell you some okay I'll tell you some about northern Minnesota okay okay so I checked my phone the temperature when I when I when I got up. The temperature was 95 degrees, okay? Now, I live right by the lake. I'm right by Lake Superior, the big lake. You know? So, the wind switched. And the temperature dropped over 20 degrees. So, we had like a west wing, west wind. And then you get that east wind. And the temperature drops. It dropped to like 67 degrees within minutes. But of course the house is still hot. The, ho the house was 84 degrees inside. You know, I mean it was just like, I, I was sweating. I wasn't even doing anything. I'm sitting here sweating. My neck's all sweaty and everything, you know. The dogs are panting away. You know, I started the... Uh, you know, I started to get the air conditioner going and... Um, and then the wind switched, so I opened up the windows and stuff. Um, I'll tell you, I'll I'll tell you about that later. Um, so I opened up the windows and all this stuff um, to try to get some fresh air and cool air in, you know. So right now it's uh, it's 54 degrees right now. It was 95 earlier. You know, it's unreal. We broke uh, a record yesterday and today. We broke. Uh, some records um, on the temperature and stuff. Okay, so I'll tell you this. This has to do with targeting. You know, my my family members involved in this program, right? Uh, are they threatening her? Are they? What are they doing? I don't know. She doesn't seem to have any extra money. She's not getting gifts and all this stuff. Are they threatening her? I don't know what they're doing. To my family to get them involved you know they're obviously lying to my family all right okay so get this now this was a few years ago they had her they had her take all the screens off the windows and throw them away they had her take the window cranks off the windows and throw them away isn't that unreal? They do not want me to open up the windows for some reason. Um, I had the kitchen one open today. It has it has a screen on it and a crank. 
I had that open up today because I was trying to get some cold air coming in here. And then they, they started lighting up fireworks. So, you know, what is the deal there? Is it, uh, what, what is the deal there? You know, um, I mean, I mean, you know, we are, we got this electric, ma uh, electromagnetic field around us, you guys. So if you op open up the windows, does that break it up? Does it, does it escape or, or something? I don't know. I don't know. But they do not want us to have the windows open in this house. You know, they had her throw the screens away, and they had her throw the cr the cranks away in this house. You know, which I thought was really weird. You know, um, but I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, you know, what is the deal with that? So if I open up my bedroom window, then they come out and talk, and they oh, they're all talking and doing street theater and all this stuff, and then I shut my window so I don't have to hear them. You know. So, it's a big cat and mouse game and all this stuff. Um, they do not want me to have my windows open for some reason. So, do the waves escape when you have the window open? Because we're surrounded by, uh, there's a big field around us, you guys. A big field around us. And, and, and uh, my, my thinking is, is that we're contained. The field is contained in these walls. So if you open up the window, does that lessen the attacks? I don't know. I don't know. It, this, I mean, it's logical thinking, you know. I don't know, though. I don't know if that's the way it works or not, you know. So, but that's what they have done in my program. They, you know, these guys have done everything. They, I mean, they, they have me harassed, you know. If these guys had it their way, I would be harassed and tortured 24-7. I would. And I'd be dead. I'd be dead. There's no way my body could take it, you know. I would be dead. I'd be dead within a year, you know, if if they had it their way. If they had it their way. But somebody doesn't let them uh, do that to me, you know. But if, if these guys are they're violent and evil, man, I'm telling you. I never seen such violent violent people in my life against innocent people. You know, I don't even know these people. They don't know me. They think they know me because they're looking through my memories and all the, all that stuff, but they don't know me. You know, I don't I have no idea who these people are. They're anonymous uh assholes as far as I'm concerned, you know, and uh they um like to torture me and I know you guys are being tortured too. You know, um I'm telling you, if this ever blows up, um, and these people end up in prison, they're going to be manhandled. They're going to be manhandled in prison. They're not going to, if they think the government's going to protect them in prison and all this stuff, that's not going to happen. They're going to be manhandled by somebody bigger and badder than them. You know, they think they're big and badasses now, harassing nonviolent people. They, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go out there and start shit with these people because they'll call the cops on you and make themselves look like the victim. I'm not doing that. I'm not playing that game. But they're immature, and um, they act like twelve-year-old boys, um, and they think this is a big game. Well, if their ass is locked up in solitary confinement for twenty-three hours a day. <coughs> or general population where uh, you have to do certain things to protect yourself and uh, they're going to be vulnerable. Just like we're, we're feeling vulnerable right now because these people are doing this to us. They think they have this power over us. If these people get locked up and they're older you know, um, they, they ain't gonna know what to do. They're not gonna be able to handle themselves in prison because you're not gonna go around and bully people in prison. That's not gonna happen, you know. So, these people will wake up one of these days, you know. We, we will get justice one of these days. It may happen when these guys are old and vulnerable, you know, when they're 60 years old and they can't defend themselves. And their ass is sitting in prison. 
then we'll see what happens. It's gonna happen. It's coming out. It's out. This is all. We just have to attach our name to it. That's all we have to do. We have to attach our name to these attacks and tell them that there's tens of thousands of us victims out here being victimized by these people. You know, gotta get to somebody. Anyway, so there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, they, you know, I got hit a little bit off and on and all this stuff. Got hit a, bit, a little bit ago. When I, when I have a, good, a drink, they kind of hit me. They, you know, they hit me. They make me feel like, you know, it's microwaves to the head. They make me feel like I got a buzz going on after I take the first sip. It's not, it's not the booze. It's them, you know, making me feel a little, uh... Oh, what do you call it? Uh, they make you feel a little, um, oh, I can't think, you know, they, you know, a little out of it, you know, a little, um, I don't know, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but that's what they do, you know, so, but anyway, so I thought I'd do a little video and all the stuff, and these guys are out, and they do, they play their little games and all this stuff, and, um, you know, we'll see what happens this summer. Summer's just beginning, so we'll see what happens this summer. You know, we gotta contact people, you guys. We gotta contact people. Even if you're not in the U.S., we gotta contact people and tell them this is happening all around the world. We gotta get to somebody who's gonna do something. You know. So anyway, I'm gonna cut this off. You guys have a good good weekend, and I'll talk to you later.